right, right, all right, right, right. So maybe it's not worth it just yet. Yeah. Especially right, since so. this isn't this is just like behind the scenes setting up a, a tower. Yeah, can I roll perception to see if there's anything actually around here that's interesting? Sure. Like just you know, interesting shit. Mm-hmm. In terms of flora and fauna. Not buildings, I don't really care about that. Okay, that's gonna be uh twenty seven. So twenty seven? Yeah. What you notice is there's a lot of uh random plants. And things growing, like, in cracks, weeds, and the like, that you don't really remember ever seeing. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll just have Specky... I'm not going to stop and look at them, because we're still ready right, to right. go. I'm just going to have Specky grab samples. Yeah. There, in terms of random uh, flora, you know, as you're walking along the highway here, you can see small bushes and plants and things that you haven't ever really seen before, because... Presumably, they don't fare that well with even the smallest amount of mana. What I'm really looking for is something like uh, food sources, like berries, that those sort of bushes. All right, give me a nature check for that. Okay, I've got I've got a running theory for how how dead zones uh, get started and how things like don't just instantly die in them that I want to figure out. Mm-hmm. Nature check, right? Yep. Okay, that's uh, 15. 15? Yeah. Yeah, on, on that, you can't readily identify... Since you haven't seen any of these types of plants and things before, attempting to identify completely non-magical bushes and things that would have edible berries, not really feasible unless you spent a lot more time doing it. And okay. since you're just kind of walking around, nah, not yet. I might give it another look when we come back, on the way back. Yeah. So... Getting down from here, there is a uh, like a small uh, garage that you could jump down to from I-64 and then jump down over to uh, the radio tower area. Okay. Not very strenuous at all for okay. any of you guys, really. Like, nothing that I would even require a roll for, just basic uh, maneuvering through the urban areas. Could we climb back up it? Uh, yeah, you could fairly reasonably cr- climb back up it, especially uh, if... You know, one of you just throws a damn rope up, which we have. So, yeah. I mean, I've got my I've got my rucksack with me too. So, I've got my chain. I can throw up there. A uh, quick question. I'm wondering. Uh, so, in a made a den zone, what about my bag of holding? Your bag of holding? Yeah. The. So the way that 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 thing works is enchanted items and things that are just ambiently magical. It's not something that requires extra mana input to necessarily maintain. Okay, so they're just, right? here we go, doesn't need to be constantly fed mana to keep its stuff up. Yeah. Okay. Basically, its magical properties are the result of its state, not due to any power source. Okay, because I was imagining, I'm like, right? I don't want to be walking and then suddenly, like, get tugged down to one side because this bag is now full of, like, 100 pounds of stuff. Yeah, real no. comedic fashion. We all have a real big laugh <laughs> about it. Get a get a real big chortle. Chortle. All right, so I feel like John going first would be a good idea here. Yeah. Do, do, do. Let me just get a Google Street View of this place. <laughs> Hell yeah, it's I can do that. Cool. Just like pretend there's a bunch of plants on it. Like, just pretend it's the last. Yeah, yeah. In there. It is a brick building, right? The windows have either busted out or have small plants growing through them, and you see a uh, small service entrance off on the side near the street. Can you link us to the Google Street View? I kind of want to see it. Yeah, sure. We're looking at that that, uh, that factory, and the... Uh... Yeah, that's apparent, that is where the uh, radio station currently is set up in. It's okay. not a... It's not a factory, yeah. Oh, I mean, there's there's a factory on this across the tracks from it. So yeah, you see that big old radio tower on the other side of the track. Oh yeah, you you did have to actually uh, cross, yeah, cross the track a little bit there. Yeah, jump onto 18th Street, hop on over, and then I mean, I get on over to this radio if tower. If we had told them where we were going more precisely, they could have had the train come and pick us up here. It's about 15 feet away. Yeah. Whoopsie. 
So here's the part where I don't actually know how how a uh, you know physical radio station in terms of like you know the nitty gritty of how you get one powered up and starting again because I'm not a damn electrical engineer goes right. So instead, what we'll say is Jerry has done this before, right? Makes sense. <laughs> He's he has you would have done this sort of thing before. You need to get these going, and right. so what you're going to do is you you head on over, you know, hop a fence real quick, and it's going to take you a bit. But essentially, what you're going to have to do is do some is do a ritual more or less mm -hmm. right. on the physical structure of this radio tower. So it's going to take him a bit. So is there time it's, to look around while while he's doing? Yeah. this? Okay. I want yeah. to roll. Can I roll nature again? Yeah, sure. I feel like this is a good opportunity. Still looking for the same kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's going to be 20. 20? Yeah. So on a 20, over in the uh, little park area in front of these uh, this building, it looks like they're trying to be, you know, all new wave and, and shit with, like, you know, a couple of small, nice greenery and... Yeah, yeah. Like, maybe somebody had a little local garden that they had set up right, to right. bring into the office. Mm -hmm. That That's the one with the circle, the, the fountain in there that I'm looking at? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you head on over there. And you can harvest a couple of uh, random berries of indeterminate origin. Awesome. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have Specky hold those in, like, whatever pouch thing. Yeah, he, he's just going to open... Up his back, reach out a little, little grabber, suck him in. Yeah, basically, I want to keep them Boop. as, as close to, uh, separated from the environment as possible until I can yeah. get them back. So I don't want to put them in my bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can just tell them to not eat them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't eat them, Specky. All right, is anybody yeah. else going to be doing anything while uh, your crew of imps gets to work swarming around this tower? Uh, the metal of it starting to turn like this reddish purple as small arcane runes are going to be uh, appearing all over the structure. Which is, of course, you see some lightning start to you see some lightning start to arc at the top, some like reddish purple lightning. So some pretty standard electrical repair stuff. Um, yeah, I want to look around for that motorcycle. You want to look for a motorcycle? Not, there's just a massive fucking parking lot. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm gonna want to do that. I want to look for anything that looks useful, that looks interesting, or like a motorcycle. All right. It's either so, useful or it's a motorcycle, not both. Well, clearly. <laughs> so, in that case, that's also going to be dungeoneering. Okay. Are you gonna drag me along with you, John? I mean, sure. If you're not doing anything. Yeah. All right. I rolled a six total. Right, I'm going to go ahead because I'm nice. tagging along with John here. I got a 10 in Dungeoneering and I really wanted to roll this ability. Hell yeah. I rolled uh, 15 in total. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Total crazy. You guys are good at this. So, what you see is these things have all been sitting out in an uncovered parking lot for the last 60 or so <laughs> yeah, years. Yeah, but still. Right? <laughs> they are destroyed anything they're all completely water waterlogged any storms that would have come through you know half of them are flipped over half of them are burnt out from random from random nonsense and the other bit is unusable just in general because of rust and decay and things like that some of them just have a tree going through them does john even understand rust what I'm just wondering if John, like, I, I assume he knows of Rust, but does he understand why Rust? Why does why Rust? Why does Rust? <laughs> what is Rust? We just don't so know. I don't find shit. I probably completely forgot what I was I looking for. I assume Rust isn't, like, super scientific. Yeah, the concept of... Well, yeah, but you, you know, like, if you leave something out for too long, like, with exposure yeah, to the air, it can the rust. Room. But I don't know if you understand fully understand the concepts of, like, oxidation and shit like that. So, yeah, no. You know about as much of about rust as the average person would know about, like, rust. Just, it happens to metal shit. Okay. Well, I walk around. Jiron. 
Yeah. Why don't you give me a uh, a fun little arcana check there to put the finishing touches on this thing and get it operational? Well, that's going to be 11. Total? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Okay, see, now it's the tides have turned. I'm not rolling like crap. Everyone else is. Oh, hi, yeah. turntables. Alrighty. So, ooh, this is going to be fun. So, oh, <laughs> lightning, so, the lightning is starting to arc and build up to a, to a bit of a crescendo at the top here. The, the brightness of it all is starting to get a little bit blinding to you guys on the ground. And then you lose control of it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh no! Oh dang it! This is, this so, doesn't happen a lot, but oh no! So as the I swear uh, this never happens to me. So as you guys are wandering around in this parking lot and in this, uh, you know, in the uh, the garden there, you know, Patton, you're going to be looking at a car, like scanning it over and everything, and then everything's going to go white for a second, <laughs> and then you're going to be on your back about ten feet away from the car, and that car is going to be exploded. (laughs) So, lightning has begun sparking and striking everywhere, all over this place, and it's funneling out of you pretty quickly. Like, you put in a little bit too much, and the control system that you put in isn't really working that well. (laughs) So, this is going to be a fun little skill challenge called... Stop Jiron from being drained while also shutting down this tower, potentially repairing it, and then getting back to the train before you guys all pass out. Oh, cool. That's good. You know, yeah. That's what I wanted to do. Mm hmm. Jerry. It's what I wanted to do. <laughs> okay. I like at least one of so, those things. So, initiative rolls then? Initiative rolls then. Alright, alright. Get this rolled up. Wow! Fucking wow! It's got a 20! <laughs> what? That 20? Yeah, what the fuck? That 20 where it doesn't matter? It doesn't! <laughs> Literally doesn't matter! I got matter. a 15. 24. Total. I got a 19 in total. So, uh, 24 in total for Elias. What did John get in total? I can't remember. I, I get a bonus to this from, from Elias. It's perception. Uh, perception. Do, yeah, you, nobody's getting a plus one to initiative, but okay. So, uh, what 22. do you get all in total? Twenty-two. Uh, then what did Jerry get? I got sixteen in total. Sixteen, and what did Pat get? Nineteen in total. Nineteen. All righty. So, this isn't going to be that bad, right? Right. It's just going to be. Let's seven say one. seven. Yeah, it's not that bad. <laughs> seven successes, one failure. No, seven and three. Oh, okay. I was gonna say like, it's not that bad. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> seven and three. It's seven and one, and also you have minus five to everything. Just come on, guys. It's not. It's literally not a railroad. I'm going five <laughs> poison damage. Save might end. <laughs> I don't know if I feel like it. <laughs> Fantastic. So, explicit goals. As the sky starts to darken around you, you know, you're getting some cloud build up. As it starts sparking into the cloud and then striking down around you, you're on holding on to the two ends of the, like, onto the metal of the tower, looking like he's being electrocuted, feeling like he's being electrocuted. Because he's being electrocuted. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so, goals tr- don't die, help out Jiron, and you probably are going to actually need to get this tower working now so that he doesn't, you know, burn out. Right. Okay. Um first up, Elias. How close am I to to Jerry? I'm in the like am I going to need uh, to run to get to him or can I just Yeah, you're going to need to you're going to need to run over to get to him, but you can do that and then start helping as part of an, a whole, whole action. Okay, well, um, then I think I'm going to use, since probably the next... See, am I allowed to metagame this? Mm-hmm. Because, How so? Well, John's not going to use Arcana, right? Yeah, no, he's not. Okay, so I'm going to use... Uh, 
See, the, the question is... Do Are you I even use... trained in Arcana? You never know. I'm a wild card. No, but I'm just Plus thinking, like... Arcana. Are you going to use nature or perception? Or dungeoneering? Those are my best ones, so I, I want um, you to have the option to use one. Probably not. I've got. Uh, he is not trained in any of those. Oh, okay, good then. I'll just do what I want to do. Do whatever. Uh, I'll I'm going to have Final Fantasy and uh, dodge the lightning strikes in time with the flashes. Yeah. Oh, you... <laughs> oh! Is that impossible? I did that for like 10 hours! <laughs> fucking getting fucking Luna's... Oh, you found me. Ooh! <laughs> Triggering some flashbacks there. I got everybody's fucking Ultima weapon in that damn game. I'm sorry. Don't talk to me about lightning flashes or chocobo races. You set this up. Okay, I did. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have Specky turn into a large chicken thing, and then I'm gonna run through his <laughs> rings to beat the clock. But it has Shut to stay the fuck up. Shut up. <laughs> I'm going to use acrobatics here mm -hmm. to uh, dodge lightning flashes while I get close to Jerry. And the idea is I'm going to see if, if uh, I can have Specky start to set up to uh, to contain some of this this energy and try and feed it back into him, hopefully. So, like, act Ooh, as a nice. conduit. Yeah, that's your, that's your next plan? That's my next plan, is to, to have Specky and, and, you know, kind of conduit it back. Let's get this right. I like it. That's going to be a 19. 19? Yeah. That'll be a success. Hooray! So, lightning starts striking at your feet. You can feel wherever, like whenever it's about to strike, you can feel your hair stand up, right? And you know right then to to dodge out of the way. You've also got, uh, you're also utilizing your knowledge there to, uh, you know, bait it around uh, structures that it's going to attach to instead of you. But it does actually seem to be targeting you guys a bit. Like, it's unnaturally targeting organic things, likely because it's magical lightning. Right. Makes and sense. we're, you know, basically magical lightning rods as the only yes. big sources of mana here. Mm-hmm. Next up, John. Thanks, Jerry. All right. So, Patton's on the ground, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go over there and pick him up, sling him over my shoulder. I'm a mm -hmm. Actually, hang on a second. You're picking up Jerry? Uh, no, you're picking... Okay. <laughs> yeah, Patton, you got, you got kind of blasted onto your was... ass by, an ex by a car exploding. I was to say, I'm a little confused. Yeah, I found my rosary, so I've got that now. Nice. Alright, so I'm going to pick up and start walking back towards the light and holding out my rosary, and I'm going to say, Praise the Lord, who is my rock. He is my ally and my fortress, my tower of safety. He is my shield, and I take refuge in him. <laughs> Religion check. Religion check, I have a plus. 18. 18, 18 total? total? That'll be a success. So, as you're holding that out, right, you see lightning strike it, strike it again, and the thing is just starting to glow red hot, but it doesn't burn in your hand. As you're just walking through it. Fuck. Why is just John so cool? <laughs> so fucking cool? Yeah, lightning is just striking you over and over and over again, but the rosary seems to be just absorbing it all. Hell yeah. Patton. Alright, so my plan here is uh, John and I, we're going to try and go into the tower and sever the connection so that Jerry can redo it and, you know, fix it up. Because we're mm -hmm. not going to be... It's too complicated to try and fix it while it's still running, so... Yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and go with Dungeoneering to see if uh, I can kind of figure out, like, where like where he and the imps would have set up whatever converter or whatever stuff they were doing to the tower. Yeah, try and figure out the physical aspect yeah, yeah. of it. Because trying to actually stop the, uh, the ritual that is going on is going to be Arcana. Mm -hmm. So I'm right. going to try and find the... Uh, where they physically connected it somehow, where they've where they've got the mm -hmm, magic mm -hmm. and the technology at the same like interface. So, I've yeah, got yeah. Ten in dungeoneering. That is a twenty-three in total. Okay, that's a success. So, right around the base, you can see a couple of uh, imps looking like they're just spazzing out, like their their muscles are all tensed up, and these things look like uh, like they basically look like big old jelly beans with wings, <laughs> kind of. 
They don't really have necks. Gross. <laughs> little tiny bat wings. Kinda, yeah, they just got little tiny bat wings and all that. Uh, yeah, they're, they're kind of spasming and twitching around on the ground, but you do see a uh, a small uh, like generator set up and uh, some cords and cables and things set up near the uh, the base of it, looking like they uh, they're hacking into the uh, like one of the uh, converter boxes and shit. I, mean, I don't actually know how fucking electric technician shit works. They're they're in the control panel. The Decker imp is jacked yeah the in. control yeah. panel. Yeah, there we go. Good enough. Just say inverter, some electrical converter, you know. Inverter, converter, whatever. They're they're in the guts, right? <laughs> Technically speaking, they're in the radio they're meat. In the guts, gentlemen. <laughs> they're Can in I the say radio up meat. In the guts. Yeah. So you start getting there. You just start unplugging shit, right? <laughs> yeah. In a technical sense. I'm gonna go in there. I'm just gonna try and <laughs> unplug it all. Try and sever the connection. Alrighty. Oh, hold yeah. on one second. I just like this is completely out of character knowledge, but like, holy shit, you're going to go into a, the control panel of an overloading circuit board and just start pulling on wires. He's actually grounded. Yeah. God, I if hope you so. remember, he's grounded to shit. Oh, that's he's right. throwing around car batteries all the time. He's got rubber boots. Mm -hmm. He is actually set up to be doing this. <laughs> Shit, we're more competent than I thought. Dr. Yeah, sit Dr. The fuck right? down. I definitely thought of that. <laughs> I thought of it. Sure. <laughs> I wouldn't have let you do it otherwise. You gotta save yourself, man. <laughs> oh, okay. Next up. Jerry, man, this really hurts. <laughs> Boy, howdy. <laughs> you know, there's one real thought going through your mind, and it's ah. <laughs> Since I am in a lot, a lot of pain, this really hurts. I'm just going to, like, desperation, try and refocus the, ma the mana and uh, just try and stabilize it. So that's probably going to be Arcana. You could also roll bluff and go, guys, don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> no, what um, he needs to do is do bluff and show a, a video of, like, a toaster in a bathtub to the electricity to intimidate <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was a 22 on Arcana, so... Alright. So, before you're being overloaded, but you're being overloaded with just pure raw energy and being drained of mana. Basically, it's all it was all being converted away from mana to just raw kinetic energy, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And heat and shit... Right. But now you've managed to, like, stop that. You aren't feeding in any more of your mana, but a lot of that is still getting fed back into you just via the ambient bullshit in the area, right? So you, you so, manage to you manage to let go of the uh, of the tower basically, and uh, stop pumping in more of your mana into it. But there's a lot of it built up in there, and this. The ritual is very, very unstable. At least I'm not getting shocked anymore. Yeah, at least you aren't about to die. Well, you're so, about to get a little more shocked. <laughs> yeah, so, next up... Oh, no. ...is gonna be... Elias, top of the round. Um, this will probably shock Jerry, I, I assume. Um, but I think if you'll allow a nature roll for this, I assume mm -hmm. communicating and talking with Specky is, is nature, right? Yeah. Right, so the the concept here is what I want to do is I want to have Specky. Um, number one, I have to have Specky uh, make a little pouch where those berries are and spit them out back to me. Because mm -hmm. I'm not going to have those things get fried. Okay. <laughs> yes, I'm thinking... Priority about number one. The on. berries, of course. It's important. It's important. It's not like I could get... Gotta study it's not the like berries. I could just go easily pick up more of them. <laughs> okay. Ugh. But what I want to do is I want to have These ones are special. attach uh, a tendril to the tower, mm -hmm. like where the ambient bullshit is going on, and a tendril to Jerry to try and s salvage as much of this ambient stuff and stabilize it as yeah, possible. Yeah. So okay. you're, about, you're about to get shocked, boy. Oh, shoot. <laughs> that's going to be nature. Oh, that's a very, very good roll. Uh, 28 in total. 
28 in total. Yeah. That's gonna be that's gonna be a success. So he's gonna grab on, grab on to Jerry here. You know, you're you're going to uh, let go of the of the tower and then immediately just feel something kind of prick into the side of your side of your shoulder. Ah, ah, <laughs> what? And then you're going to see this cat thing just waddle on up, grab, you know, spin a little fungal tendril with a pebble on the end of it around the tower. And it's gonna just kind of hear some buzzing, oh, that's some buzzing for a bit. It's like and slow just, motion. For me. It is. It, it, it's attempting to look like it isn't bothering it, but it's clearly kind of hard. Well, yeah, I'm not trying to kill Specky here, but it's yeah. This is sort of an emergency. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's some Konosuba. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Just ah, uh, <laughs> as that flows through him and back into you, but you start feeling a lot better. Yeah, um, basically the concept here is I want to make it so this isn't a total loss. Like we're not—he's not just losing all this mana. Yeah, you do notice that the uh, rocks, the rock segments on Specky are starting to glow. Right. And uh, some of those runes that were on the tower are starting to appear on each of the uh, stone sections of him. Well, that's interesting. Oh, it's probably redirecting the 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 ritual a little bit. Yep. Hmm. So next up, John. Okay. Um, can I intimidate the tower? <laughs> <laughs> no. Listen up now. Can I intimidate the imps? You could. Potentially, it depends on what you're doing. Um, I want to get them to stop being. Would you describe them as jelly beans? Yeah, they're kind of twitching around. Yes, I want them to stop being jelly beans and get back to work. <laughs> All right, fight through the pain. Yeah. Wow. All right, so I'm gonna roll that. You're, Sean, you're going to be the abusive father. I'm gonna give you something to cry about. <laughs> <laughs> Literally that. The baby want a bottle? A big dirt bottle? Dirt bottle. <laughs> Alright, so John is going to go full hang kill on some, some little helpless, innocent... I imps. would not describe them as helpless and innocent. Innocent. John bullies some imps. I got a one. This just keeps happening to me. I'm <laughs> finding he does. <laughs> if any roll is good So, fight. would you like to... Would you like to spend an action point to re-roll that? Uh, no, because what I do... I, I start yelling, Hey, you imps, get back to work! And, I, and then I go to start... Uh, Helping Patton grab wires. Except I've also got like one hand on the <laughs> metal. So I fucking grab a live wire. Uh, you, you yell, get back to work f from the tree that you fly into about 10 feet back. I grabbed a new dice. <laughs> so far today I've rolled a 1, a 2, a 1, and a 20 on my initiative. Nice. Next up, Patton. Your your assistant <laughs> is over in that tree. I'm just over my shoulder right here now. Y'all get back. Ah! <laughs> Look over and he's ah, against the fucking tree. Ah. <laughs> I'll just I'll take one a hand and I'll uh Ugh I'll Well no I can't It's rub starting my to eyes. stabilize a little I was bit. Say, I can't rub my eyes. You can actually. I guess I guess. You can. I guess I can rub my you eyes. You can you could do a little gif. <laughs> I swear to God, if you say GIF, I reach through the internet. Oh, uh, you know me too well. I dropped my D20 and I rolled a 20. Damn it. I should have announced something first. Oh, well. All right. Uh, I am going to unshoulder my crossbow and just, like, John just got hit by a lot of electricity. I'm going to pop him mm -hmm. full of something here. I'm going to give him. All right. Let's roll this heal check real quick as I load up one of my syringes into the crossbow. I got a 21 in total. Alrighty. Alright, I'm... So you're going for... Yeah, going for, uh, For making sure he doesn't fucking a die. A syringe full of Dr. Patton's patent-pending shocking stabilizer. And just load it up. <laughs> shoot it right in How appropriate. Gun. It's shocking how well it stabilizes people. <laughs> and I go right back to my work. Please. Because Jerry very well might die if this doesn't get fixed. Yeah. Alrighty. So you get back to it. Next up... Mm, Jiron. 
So, it's starting to get stabilized. It looks like you might be able to still salvage it, uh, now that some of that excess power is being thrown off. All or right. you could attempt to just give up. And just cut it. Alright, uh, would it be streetwise to, like, check to, for the correct part to, like, I guess, move the X to the Y to get this thing to be fixed? No. The two to the one Dang it. The one to the three. That would be streetwise. <laughs> it's Raul from Casey's um, team. Well, I do want to get this going, but I already I just rolled Arcana. Um, yeah, you did. Can you think of any other skills that you could use in an interesting and creative way to achieve a similar effect? I mean, probably not. That was the most patronizing <laughs> roleplay, you fucker, I've ever heard. Right. <laughs> Uh, well, alright, so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and swing up to, like, am I at the very top of the tower? Or, like, no. am I on a platform? You're at the uh, you're at the base. Near the base. Alright, so I'm going to try and use my chain and climb up, or, like, just attach it to the tower, actually. And, uh -huh. like, try and stabilize the conduit one more time. Um, using? Using... I swear to God, if you say something stupid like stealth, <laughs> I'm gonna sneak up on the magic. <laughs> well, actually, no, I'm not gonna try and use a conduit because I don't really have anything I can use for that. So I'm gonna try and swing up onto something and see if there's any way I can like just like get a, a makeshift conduit going. You got exactly where you need to kick it to get it to work. Yeah, and that's going to be probably. I mean, I guess the conduit could just be his chain whip. So, I mean... Probably be acrobatic to try and swing up onto that and do it. Alright. Like acrobatics position yourself at a different part of the tower. Alright, yeah. go for it. Six in total. <laughs> 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 Alright. <laughs> so, are you going to spend... Are you going to attempt to spend an action point to reroll that garbage? Or no? No. <laughs> What? Okay. <laughs> so, Jiron. Come on, Elias. Jiron still, still very dazed, very, very frazzled and fried. Pulls out his chain. Oh, I'm gonna do it, you guys. <laughs> Throws it up, wraps it around, wraps it around the little pole, and attempts <laughs> to pull himself up. Forgets that it's a new infinity chain and just falls onto his back. <laughs> And just starts pulling at the chain while he's on his back, and just more chain keeps coming, and he's just not going up at all. Damn you, gotta... Will. She got you good. <laughs> As you just keep pulling on the chain, going, why am I not going up any higher? I assume some somewhere back on the train, it cuts to to a picture of Belle, and she just snickers to herself for some reason. She knows just... the prank has worked. <laughs> Pranked. <laughs> okay, I have a question. Yeah. Are the, this is this is considered an encounter, correct? Yes. So I can use encounter powers in encounters, correct? Yes. Do I have to spend an action point to use an encounter power? What's no. Happening? Because all but... elven accuracy set. Because as we all know, my rolls are garbage. Just <laughs> hot ass at all times. <laughs> So I'm going to probably need to use an action point. Elven accuracy says attack roll, you nope. idiot. I'm attacking the tower, okay? <laughs> if no, no. In, in all legitimate like if I attack the tower. I don't No I like it. Let's do it. Come on. Okay, fine. No, that doesn't Stop work. Us. Fine. Yeah, fucking shit, DM. <laughs> this is no, bullshit. That You're would be bullying me. You're bullying me. Okay. So, um, are you... First things first, I'm going to have Specky, because if this goes south, I am not risking losing Specky. Mm -hmm. So first things first, I'm going to have Specky uh, dis like, unattach, because now mm -hmm. uh, fucking Jerry's on the ground twitching again, and that's just not going to be good. Well, he's climbing a rope to nowhere. Right. While right. on his I'm back. I'm gonna have Specky un uh, disattach from him. Just we're not we're not mm -hmm. doing this anymore. Um. So this is beyond salvaging, right? He's not gonna get this set up. No, you could still get it set up. Oh, it's still possible. You could still stabilize it. 
Okay. Like, it's getting close to being stable. Basically, you wouldn't have to to get it up and working in the skills challenge, okay. but you would just have to get it into a spot where it's not going to explode. Okay, okay. Well, in that case, then, what I'm going to try to do here is... Right. Oh, I, I know, I know, I know. I What I'm going to do is, one, I'm going to have Specky uh, unattach. The last thing I used was nature, right? Yep. Fuck. Uh, I wanted to use nature. Uh, perception, I think, can work for this, actually. Sure. What are you trying to do? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Specky disattach. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and uh, create a quick feedback loop on on Jerry. With perception, using my knowledge of that crab claw from way back, um, mm. I know that mana can be built up and released quickly. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find wherever it's building the man is cu currently still building up on Jerry. I want to find where that that point is, and I want to basically put my hand on him and apply a very very quick but precise uh, feedback of mana. Basically, if if we're considering it like a wave, you're going to punch him. Yeah, I'm going to punch him essentially. Okay. I'm going to punch him, but I'm going to punch him in a real specific way so it it stabilizes the the mana feedback loop. That actually makes sense. So go ahead and punch your friend who is currently so dazed and confused they don't really know which way is But it's up. like a cool punch, okay? Oh, it's a good yeah. It's a good touch. Shut up. God, why does it come down to me doing these rolls every time? Hey, it came down to me last time, pal. Okay, here we go. Oh, alright. That'll work. That's gonna be, uh, what is that in total? 29. 29. 29. Yeah. Nice. So, what you notice is, on his coat right now, right, the lightning strikes are focusing, are kind of honing in and focusing whenever his, uh, his coat is starting to pulse, right? Yeah. The, the veins and such. <laughs> and it seems like it's dying down, but it does still seem to be tied because of the ritual tying it to his mana, like, it's t still being tied to the fluctuation of his mana, which is currently irregular. Right. Right? So, what you're gonna... So you're gonna do the equivalent of a uh, defibrillator, right? Yeah. Like a one-inch defibrillator. You know, yeah, you're gonna, you know, put your arm there, you know, get it, build in a little bit of energy, and then just... Dunk, just a nice, solid thwack... And then you're just going to see the the mana start to spread evenly and stop pulsating mm -hmm. as the uh, electricity from the tower is going to start dissipating and sparking. Right. And it it looks like it's been primed, but now not uh, currently active. Okay. Basically, you just you just removed the fuse from the cannon. Right. And I've just had a thought. Um, mm -hmm. Well, number one, that was an attack roll, technically, so if I had missed, I could have used Elven Accuracy. Fuck you. <laughs> just, I'm just saying. Uh, the other thing that has occurred to me is, um, we're in a mana dead zone, mm -hmm. and we just spent the last, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, probably? Yeah. Basically lighting a gigantic mana firework. <laughs> huh? um, it was more like a fountain, like those things that just send out... Uh... Uh, can I roll perception to see if there's, like, large and a very angry or hungry things that are now coming to this gigantic, like, lit-up mana source? Sure. Because I feel like that's something you would do. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to roll uh, perception. Yeah, that's not very good. 16 total? 16? Yeah. I don't know. Can, can John roll perception? Sure. Yeah. He knows nothing about mana signatures, but he is that 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 sure was a loud thing that just happened. Oh, nope, twenty-two. I like this die. Twenty-two. Yes. Uh, yeah, there is something. There is something coming, coming over very fast. Oh. Is it a you train? See it kicking up a cloud of dirt. Kick, kicking up a cloud of dirt behind it. No, it's Molly. Okay. Oh. She is sprinting. Towards you guys. <laughs> oh, hamburger! I climb out from the tree. <laughs> uh -huh. I walk up to the group. 
Yeah. Wait for Molly to get there. John casually jumping out of a tree. And as soon as she starts talking, I'm going to my hat and go, howdy, Molly. <laughs> howdy. John. <sighs> uh, one second. I take you saw the fireworks? Fireworks, huh? Yeah, we're just having a bit of fun, you know. So, I think we got it working. So you're not asleep then, still? I mean, huh? Debatable. The. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. mm -hmm. <sighs> Who? So you're not dead? You're not about to die? I mean, a couple of us might be, uh. Bro, you get this thing working yet? John says with a syringe in his chest. <laughs> so, Giron, now yeah. that you, you know, pull your chain back, right, stand up, you feel like absolute garbage, but you look up, hey, look, the tower is actually set up pretty well. Like, it's not going to take that much else to, to get this thing going. It looks like in the, the kerfluffle of all that, most of the energy that you needed to put in there already got primed up. You just need to, you know, get everything physical back set up. But it doesn't seem like much could fuck up with that. <laughs> Alright, so... Like so I'm gonna, like, get up very slowly, because I, I feel awful. Ugh. Yeah. Zep. <sighs> yeah, boss? That was, that was the most pain I've ever experienced in my life. Same. Oh, jeez. Ugh. Oh, okay. we, oh, jeez. Uh, Alright, so, same deal as always. Let's, uh, just plug her in, put the yeah. video on there, I'll enchant yeah. the, way, the sound waves, and I never mm -hmm. want to see this radio tower again. We probably won't. I Thank mean, goodness. we might, perhaps if we want to or not, because I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh, I see the light. Is that... Oh, That's there isn't spotlight. anything there. Oh, the shit is. Yeah, yeah, you're right. All right Just the spotlight. Come on, we climb down, fix it yeah. up, and let's get out of here. I am. I don't feel too hot. So, Molly is going to look over at all of you guys. Look over at at Patton. Kind of walk over to him. One hand on one shoulder. Molly? Try to make sure they don't die, okay? I'm trying my best. <laughs> Casey really likes these guys. I'm sorry, I was extremely competent in this whole endeavor. <laughs> For once. For once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He goes, breakfast is ready back on the train when you're done uh, doing whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, at this point, I think I'm down. I'm just going to walk over to Molly. Yeah. So as you guys walk back over to the train, uh, that's where we're going to cut this episode with you guys almost dying and Elias actually doing stuff for once. Hooray. <laughs> Congratulations. All right. That was episode 12 of Revival, a Dungeons & Dragons real play podcast. You can find me and our uh, other podcasts, Let Me Tell You About, on this same YouTube channel or uh, on iTunes, Google Play. We got both Revival and that I'm going up. Uh, you can find us on Twitter at Let Me Tell You PD. Uh, you can also send us an email or a question to show up on Jerry's show and be answered in universe. You know, question for one of the characters, question for the DM about the world. Uh, you can send those to let me tell you about at gmail.com. That's let me tell you about with three T's because otherwise it wouldn't fit. You can also find us hanging out in the Discord with uh, other fans. We're there the majority of the time. But uh, yeah, that's it for this episode. So uh, see you guys in episode 13. <laughs>